Cecilia, 55, is the manager of an Arco gas station in Heber, Imperial County, California. Immigrated from Mexico to the United States when she was in elementary school, she speaks English fluently. Before she got this job five years ago, she could not afford a car or even a cell phone. She may not be able to imagine that her life could change so much due to this job. I've been working here since we opened and that's a little over five years. The business has picked up quite a bit from when we opened. Um, in the beginning we didn't know where we were going to get our customers because we're pretty hidden. <laughs> but we got it. We got our customer base filled up. Cecilia works 8 to 10 hours a day from Monday to Saturday, sometimes overtime. On Sundays, she always go to San Diego to see her son and grandchild and then get back to work on Mondays. Her hard work and managing capabilities are well recognized by her boss. Especially if we have problems like with our tanks or our pumps, um, I've got to stay and make sure that you know everything's working properly. A lot of times um, I'm on the phone with the technicians and they'll tell me what to do. But I never leave without making sure that everything's running again. In the beginning, the monthly sale of the Arco gas station along with the AM PM convenience store attached to it was only over 100000 In the first seven to eight months, Cecilia with her team of 20 staffers brought it up to $1.5 million. So far, the monthly total has well surpassed $2 million, which was way beyond other gas stations in the region. Cecilia's salary also increased significantly from 3000 to 4500 Along with other benefits, it could add up to 6000 with which she bought a new car and iPhone. Cecilia was satisfied and happy about her job, and she felt confident to raise the month's total of more than $3 million. I feel proud of my work because I've, I've seen it grow, you know, from the bottom, from when we first started. When I came here, um, they weren't open yet. Um, I got hired, and within 10 days from being hired, we opened the store. And from there, we've been you know, thinking of ideas to bring people in. So it's, I do feel proud that now, you know, we're up there, you know, in our sales and, and we're one of the best. The gas station where Cecilia works is not located along the main street and nobody believed it could be this successful. However, because of the rapid growth of trade between Mexico and the U.S. in recent years, the gas station, which is seven kilometers away from the border inspection station, thrived. With more than 52,000 crossing the border on a daily basis for working or shopping, thousands of vehicles came to the gas station with 24 pumps, which run 24 hours a day for fueling. I think it works both ways. Um, both because we, especially here in the valley, we live right on the border, so it, we depend on them to, to be able to come in by here, but they also depend on us so they can live a better life.